Caesar would have kept hold of the medicine in the second film, and this is why that would have made Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes a completely different film. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes is set 300 years after the Caesar series, but in the same universe, and it's clear that the newly formed ape societies have retained a mostly primitive lifestyle. However, based on the information given on their intelligence, I believe that ape societies would have embraced the abundance of leftover technology long before the events of the fourth film and would have mostly caught up with us. Here's why the film got it wrong, how I think a trigger as simple as the medicine would have changed history, and where I think it would have stopped. So, first a little context. The chapters are going to be below if you want to skip ahead. The story started in modern America. Humans are testing a cure for Alzheimer's disease called ALZ112 on apes. This drug seems to both cure Alzheimer's and make apes smarter. However, all hell breaks loose when it mutates and becomes what is called the simian flu, an airborne virus which is lethal to humans but still enhances the cognitive abilities of apes. Over the next couple of years, most of humanity is wiped out by the flu, aside from some small settlements of what looks to be about a thousand humans surviving on leftover resources. The apes have fled into nearby woodland and started to form basic primitive societies. The story of the second film is where my interpretation of this sequence of events differs. The film begins with humans venturing into ape territory, unbeknownst to them, with the aim of getting a hydroelectric dam up and running again. The story of the second film then follows the subsequent tension between ape society and human society, where both are very wary of each other, yet the humans need this favor from the apes. One of the solutions to this tension is when a human offers Caesar, the leader of the apes, antibiotics to save his dying wife. The antibiotics work, and the apes, as a thank you, allow the humans to continue the work. Here is the problem. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes puts ape society 300 years from these events, at a primitive or Bronze Age society at best, and the plot effectively follows the apes' first proper push to try and embrace and integrate human legacy resources but it would not have taken nearly this long. Rather, once Caesar's beloved family were saved, that would have triggered the apes' pursuit of acquiring human resources. Caesar demonstrated considerable strategic intelligence, so the first thing he would have done is said to the humans that he would be happy for them to continue working on the dam in exchange for more of this magical medicine. The humans weren't in a position to negotiate and would have willingly offered some. But antibiotics only work in some situations. Now, the humans have no reason not to tell Caesar this, but it can be complicated and the stakes are very high. You wouldn't want to get it wrong. Cue reading and writing. The apes are seen to have their mantras written on the wall when Maurice is teaching in the second film. It says apes together strong. So they have some basic capability. They don't need to be reading War and Peace, but a simple means of storing information of when you could use the antibiotics seems certainly plausible. So the apes now understand the profound importance of reading and writing, and they own some simple antibiotics. Here's where things would have settled down for a couple of weeks. Caesar would have understood the importance of the recent discoveries and would have set out to understand reading and writing as quickly as possible. This way he could access already written information by the humans. The humans would have gone their own way and been building a society much faster again with an abundance of electricity. It wouldn't be long though before the peace was broken. With a society of that size, a few hundred at least, the requirement for antibiotics to save a life would have come again quite quickly and it wouldn't be long before they would have run out. Once they have no medicine left and Gary's wife is dying, Caesar would have had no choice but to seek out more. Now, there are a few different ways for the stories to develop from that. Apes and humans could have ended up creating a mutually beneficial arrangement where both can provide benefits to the other. This is what I think would have happened, purely because, regardless of how messy history is, our one data point is that life seems to tend towards cooperation. This would bring a broader meaning to apes together strong, which includes the ugly, tall, hairless ones we call humans. Further, Caesar's strategic decision-making reliably tends towards cooperation. Whatever the case, the point remains, two things are now certain. The apes understand the profound value in leftover human resources, and the source of humans' vital electricity is in ape territory. Through war, negotiation, cooperation, or some other way, it's almost certain that apes would have integrated human technology as early as the dawn of the planet of the apes. So we jump forward 300 years. What does society look like? Well, let's say that the, human, the apes and the humans did try to cooperate, since everyone is better off that way. The problem is the virus seems to have a lethal impact on human populations, and regardless of whether it was through war or subservience, humans would have ended up in a similar position to that which they find themselves in in the fourth film, effectively wild animals. I think that out of tenderness resulting from their increased intelligence, the apes probably would have kept them around, just like we do with cats. 
But would apes have managed to fully assimilate humans and recreate the exact modern society which humanity lost in the first movie? To answer this, we need to understand what their limitations are. This is because Caesar demonstrated an intelligence no lesser than humans, and so reasonably we can assume that they could learn to read and write to the same level. This means that they could accumulate our knowledge from anything written down, pass information on to the next generation, and eventually undertake any intelligence-based job role that we do. This includes operating the internet and computers. However, this leads us to our first potential barrier. What exactly is the state of the equipment left behind after the second film? Specifically, is there even an internet that could be used? Now, apes don't need to have global access to a communication information yet. But if we want to understand whether they could recreate our society exactly, then this needs asking. Now, I have a feeling that the next films will actually answer this sort of question, but here are my thoughts. The internet requires electricity and millions of staff worldwide to maintain the upkeep of physical servers. I believe electricity would not take them long. However, the recreation of the internet infrastructure would be profoundly laborious to recreate for the apes, especially considering that we can see the state of the planet in the second film and we know the ape population probably wasn't going to quickly exceed 6 billion. However, they would likely understand the importance of the internet based on the literature that we left behind and would be beginning to set up an equivalent electronic storage of information that represented the internet. Therefore, I think that eventually they could be capable of recreating the internet, but I do not think that they would have done it in the same, to the same extent within 300 years. This is purely conjecture based upon the disrepair shown in the second film, and it's likely I haven't identified every limitation, but it does show that they wouldn't have been able to perfectly assimilate us within the 300 years. What I would guess would be the case after 300 years. They would have managed to recreate the supply of fossil fuels, transport, electricity, and basic medicine, but probably not the internet and brain surgery. And so you'd be looking at a sort of spread out industrial style monkey society where they're starting to wear top hats and drinking ale, but not wearing top knots and drinking lattes. Whatever the case is as simple as this, no matter how badly you want your cute little primitive life, when your wife is dying from an illness or your elders from starvation or your children from cholera, agriculture, medicine, and clean water infrastructure would be impossible to resist. And so the Bronze Age kingdom of the planet of the apes is not nearly as advanced as I would have guessed. One thing I did think you're, you're saying that this would have started from that medical. That would have been the catalyst that, in the film. And you, and that would have been the moment I think it turned around. And really, Realistically, you could have loads of different catalysts for this and still get to the same point. It doesn't have to be that way. Right, exactly. One thing I did think, though, is on that spe in that specific instance, I don't know if that would have been the cause. Because, basically, if I'm remembering correctly what happens in Dawn, he uses the medicine and then she's still recovering. He's still letting them kind of quid pro quo use the electricity. Mm -hmm. They literally just get the electricity running. So at that point, yes, there would have been this back and forth, let's cooperate. But isn't that when Cobra basically shoots him and... Right, I see what you're saying. So the, I, I think, think that, that we see, his, we see his family in good health before the Cobra But literally, fight. don't we see them in good health as they're coming back? As they're coming out. I'm pretty sure it all happens at once. Yeah, so they don't yeah. even have a ta chance so to work together more. Going I, I agree okay, with you that they yeah. would have. I, th I think they would have found another way to get to that point. Well, the weapons were like a very obvious one. Yeah, the I weapons were kind of like, could I just say, yeah, it's obvious to the apes that whoever has the biggest guns wins and they just take all their guns and that's the catalyst.